What's up Lego fans, GDP Build here, this is the way. Welcome to Mock Talk Episode 9. We're getting there. Still need someone for Mock Talk Episode 10. And then we're going to be cutting it off there for Season 1 of Mock Talk. Giving it a bit of break so I can work on the City Series. So, you probably, well first off, thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. And you may have noticed I'm wearing a work t shirt, one of my work t shirts. Reflectives. Well, that's because today I'm showing off the mock I'm working on of my work truck. Like, the trailers have changed a bit, the trucks have changed a lot. <laughs> so basically, this is what I do. Sorry, it took me a little to figure out how to... I haul two 53-foot trailers at once. That's what I do for a living. I drive from city to city. When I first got into it, I was driving this truck, an international. Then for a little while there, I was driving a Peterbilt, and now I'm driving the one way down at the bottom, the Freightliner. So, that's how it's... And... This is not how it originally started, but this is how it kind of started. Like, I built this semi truck, tearing it down, and rebuilt it like maybe six times. And each time was a little bit different than the last. And then I started to stick around with this overall design. Of course, I was going to try and rework the headlights. The the, uh, the hood mirrors, cab mirrors are pretty good. Reworking the wheels so that, excuse me, I had these like nice tall singles up front, and then I was gonna have more of these in the back with these Technic pins so that it looked like dualies. Yeah, there's a bit of an interior too two seats they're very close to each other side by side at the back of the cab mud flaps they are a work in progress lights the pintle hitch for moving a converter around I really should have put a picture of a converter on here let me get one for it do 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 Still not what I want. Let's try this LCV converter. That's what I want. What's a good picture? Kind of is, but it's kind of a 3D model. Hmm. Just a second here, everybody. I only just thought of this, so yeah, you see a bit of the process. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this picture. Save. Do 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 do. Image nine. Boom! Skills them off. There. Okay, so this, still working it out, is a semi truck converter. It's what they used. It's literally got a hitch on it like a semi truck. It's like the back end of a semi truck, but separate so we could haul it around. Like, this is what the I was starting of its design. I'm changing it around, obviously. But see, it's like I was making also a bunch of these to, to resemble a semi truck's hitch, like a kingpin hitch. I had quite a few of them made up. 
So I was going to do one, a couple different semi trucks like this in red. One a day cab and one a bunk truck. And the company I used to work for had vans that had sliding like hitches that came out of it. Like, it would be stowed in here and then when I need to use it, it would pop out as a second hitch behind the trailer. So I was trying to create that, but I no longer haul those trailers anymore, so I just haul ones with converters, so I was going to turn that into a converter. So, okay, so back at it. So this truck I built to resemble the International I used to drive. All nice and red, the grill going up and down, hood mirrors, I'm going to put hood mirrors on the other one too. The dome for aerodynamics, same with the sides. I got lights up here, the marker lights. There was supposed to, there's gonna be a steering wheel in here that like tilts, like in semi trucks. Oh, that's what I need to do. That's why I completely forgot. That's why I left that open in here, and I I filled in this one here. So I need to take that brick out and get a angling piece. So here's the gas tank or the diesel tank. There's supposed to be another one here, but I lost it. Side steps. The chassis on this one was pretty thin. I'm making this one a bit thicker. I think the bumper turned out somewhat okay. Doing the kind of doing the same thing on this one with this bumper. This one's grill is going horizontally instead of vertically because on a Freightliner it's horizontal. On the International it's vertical grills. See now, look, looking at this one's hood, it's way different than that uh, international hood. So I probably would have to change things around to like a hood of this size. But it's all a work in progress. I do like what I did here with the back one. Oh, I'm kind of trying to do the same thing with the Freightliner. I built this one because a Freightliner's back window is different. It's it's split in the middle, so it's got the window split, a window, and even that. Wait, does it or no? That that was the Peterbilt that had two small windows right there. Okay, so that was the Peterbilt. That's what I'm thinking of. That has two smaller windows behind the, right there. So I can remove those. That's what. That's what's got me all in a funk. Okay. We'll work on this later. And, oops. Yeah. Work in progress and it easily falls apart. And here's the fenders for the rear wheels. A lot of semi trucks have that. Some don't, some do. And only for like one set, which was really annoying. Of course, I don't like these. Wanna well, know why I don't like these on, on big and larger semi trucks? It's because you, when you have to put chains on, tire chains on, they are a pain in the ass. You can only put them on the rear axles because that was the only one you could get to. These ones, you had about this much of a gap between the tire and the uh, and the wheel well fender. So how are you supposed to get your arms in there to wrap the chains around the tires? You can't. I'm rambling on. Okay, well. Enough with the International again. This was supposed to be a converter. I gotta work on that. I've been working on this the past couple days. The Freightliner, I got the chassis going. It's starting to get pretty strong. <clears throat> There's the engine inside. I just put it as a red block. There's the grill, the hood. I got that all to nicely match up. Just so it's nice, nice and smooth, just like on a real truck. I need to find a 1x2 gray tile there for the bumper. I know that truck's white, and the one I drive is white with a gray bumper, so. Then, I need to get a piece here for this. I need to get some Technic pins for the tires. I need to get some tires. I need to figure out these fenders with the lights. Got my doors. Kind of a small door. <laughs> 
my doors aren't that small in real life, but I kind of wish there was like a mixture in between these doors because like these are pretty tall. They're they're two bricks high. And this is one brick high. I kind of wish there was an in between. Then I'm trying to work out on the back because I want to get a couple seats in here. Of course. Now for this, I gotta take that out, find a piece for a steering wheel. I gotta find a steering wheel. I'm gonna find a plate for here. I don't know if I want to put the seats that close though, but I don't know if I have to. I was gonna put them here, put the steering wheel here, but now that I remember that I was gonna do it for that, yeah, I might change things around again. Yeah, and then once I get around to the back here, the hitch is going to go here. Here's another pintle hitch. Oh, yeah. Here's how I did this hitch back here is to get it to stand up, I got it on one of these P, like T blocks. Like, it's a T plate, base plate on bottom, but it's also got a vertical thing in the middle for that. So, it really worked out for me. I just need to find another one, obviously. And here's what I'm doing for the back axles. I already put one on here, but and then it's going to be a Technic pin with like one pin in there and two out here for the dualies. So this is a work in progress, and this is actually like coming along nicely. Of course, now I got to rework the cab again, but that's fine. I want the steering wheel to tilt. Oh, and here's its top dome. I took this off of one of my uh, RVs, Lego RVs. So, just temporarily. I don't want to pull off the sticker. I just needed it for a visual. So that's like this. This is like on my International. It was down like this, but on my Freightliner, it's up like this. It's weird. Now we get into the trailers I've worked on. I've made roofs for them, and they work out pretty good. So, I got at least I got two roofs for both of my trailers. This one I've done a little bit more work on because it's got back doors and connecting the walls on the top. Like, I think I'm doing a pretty. I think that's pretty good because like, got all this like Lego pieces, the red and the white, to act as the safety tape around it for the reflection. And this is how I've gotten so far on my doors. They're a work in progress. I want them to go all the way around and so you can butt the trailer up to a door, kind of like a real semi truck, but you can't. There's, I haven't found a piece yet that allows me to have the door look closed like this, but then be like all the way level to right here. So I'm working on that. I got some marker lights up here, and then there's gonna be another, another one of these uh, pintle hitches over here, back there. But again, work in progress. And here's where I got the front hitch. I got that in there, and it's just on a couple of those like uh, one by one snots. Of course, I want to find a one by two of those snots. And then it's one of those ball pieces, and then it's a one by one tile to make it all look nice and flat. Just all like one solid piece in there. It looks really good. This trailer hasn't had too much things done to it. Yeah, it's got the floor, it's got the hitch, it's got the walls, and it's got the safety tape. But that's it. Doesn't have no front, does not have no back. Hmm. This one originally had a back or a front, but I tore it down to rework it, and most of the pieces where I used in it were Mega Blocks. So, I'm trying to make everything that's all my uh, Lego mocks Lego only. The Mega Blocks can stay separate. Yeah. So that's how this is going. Oh, now I will be working more on these semi trucks. This one just to like because. Add it to the collection. It was. I actually want to build one of every semi truck I've ever driven as like a 
I don't know the word. But just like one of every truck I've driven. Oh, except for a Volvo. Volvos are terrible. Worst truck in the world. I know I'm probably going to get, oh, those are the very good trucks. The very good trucks. No, they're not. Anyway, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Also hit that subscribe. Thanks for checking out the video, and I'll uh, see you all in the next video, LEGO fans. Have a good day.